When it comes to things in Skyblock, I'd consider myself a, a pretty curious person. It is the whole reason I started the Myth Busting series in the first place. Now, usually I'll test small things like what happens if you try and smelt a grizzly bait, an item that drops from less than 0.1% of high level wolf bosses. Grizzly bait, why is it working? I just gotta cook salmon. I just wasted 2 million coins. Nice! But what is the most extreme thing I've ever tested? The most time consuming myth of all of them? It's my own luck in RNG. You see, when Hypixel released the pets update a month ago, they added a lot of different pets that can be obtained in a bunch of different ways, but one of the pets that stand out the most, the one that stands on top of all of them, is the legendary Ender Dragon pet. Just to show you how rare this pet is from dragons, the aspect of the dragons has about a 4-6% drop rate per summoning I placed with Magic Find, but this pet is 500 times more rare. And on top of that, you have to not roll a sword to even have the chance to roll a pet. So let's say you get a sword in Aspect of the Dragons, you don't even have the chance to roll for the pet, which makes it even more rare. According to admins, the average amount of summoning eyes a player will use before getting the pet is nearly 3,000. And in coins, that's nearly 2 billion coins. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally don't have 2 billion coins to go spend on dragons. It's a lot of money. So last week, I streamed myself trying to get this pet for nearly 10 hours. And you want to know how many pets I got? Absolutely none. I got zero pets, zero epics, zero legendaries, and I ended off that stream with zero coins to my name, and my bank account had nearly shrunk by 170 million coins in Skyblock. Now, luckily, I have made some of my coins back. I'm at 70 million coins right now, but still, I could be at, like, 250 million coins instead of 70 million coins, so... That's kind of the thing. Now, a few weeks ago, I made a community tab post asking for you guys' myth ideas, and specifically, I asked you guys to like the comments that you guys wanted me to test the most. So, let's go through some of them. Can you build a quartz block with overflux capacitors? You see, I would test this myth, but I don't even have enough money to buy two overflux capacitors, let alone four. So, a capacitor in the auction house is what? 70 million coins, 60 million coins, I have... 70 million coins to my name. I would have to quadruple that just to test this and then resell it. If I want to prove that you can or cannot craft a quartz block with overflux capacitors, I'll have to find another way to prove it. Luckily, I know just how. So in an update from November 18th, they made it so you couldn't use skyblock items in vanilla Minecraft recipes, rendering this myth completely impossible. So because an overflux capacitor is obviously a custom skyblock item, and then a quartz block is obviously a vanilla Minecraft item, you're not going to be able to make a quartz block with overflux capacitors. Also, 100k pure handsome tried it, and apparently didn't work for him, so that's also a thing too. The next myth is what happens if you bid on a friend's item, and then join the co-op, and can you claim it or not? Alright, Fugle, basically what you're gonna do, you're gonna put up an auction on a new profile, I'm gonna bid on it, and then I'm gonna join it, and then I'm gonna see if I can claim it. I'm claiming an item I bid on myself. Alright, AH, AH Fugle, I will bid one coin, now you gotta add me to your co-op. Fugle has invited you to their co-op. Oh wow, I just unlocked the wood collection. Well, now I have to wait like five minutes to claim this thing, so... Yeah. That'll take a few minutes. It says the profile I bid on, which is interesting. <laughs> Alright, auction on other profile. You bid on this auction on a different profile. Switch to the correct profile. You bid on this auction on a different profile. Why is that a thing? No! Okay, I'm on my main profile now. You bid on an item. Alright, I picked it up. I got the wood. The wood is going right here. There you go. Uh, let's see what happens now. You bid on this auction on a different profile. It says the same thing. I already claimed it. Like, I claimed the item, but I can't claim the money. Apparently, the game just doesn't let you claim the, the auction for some reason. I don't know why. What the game also doesn't let you do is know what potions you make when you click on a vendor. Let me, let me explain what I mean. Alright, we have a speed 7 potion. If I click on this... And then I go out, it's a water bottle. So can I actually drink this water bottle? This is a speed 7 potion. So will it give me absolutely nothing? Or will it give me speed 7? I honestly don't know. I have no potions on. We're gonna see what happens. Oh. It just, it just gave me speed 7. Well, we got our speed 7. Alright. Alright, now one thing I want to test is with Slayer. So I'm gonna need some armor. So one thing I want to test is what'll happen... If you're doing a rev quest, you spawn your boss, and then you just stop your quest midway. So, are you going to get any drops? Are you going to get that revenant flesh? Or are you going to get nothing? Alright, we're going to stop the boss now. So, we have a nice uh, revenant whore here. We're just going to stop it midway. And it's still alive. So, I guess I have to test the loot I get. I have 15 revenant flesh, so if I get any more, then I got loot. Give me a scythe blade. I want a scythe blade. I got nothing. Nothing happened. I probably got combat XP, but like, 
I, I didn't get any more revenant flesh. Well, that was awkward. I just wasted 50,000 coins. Nice. Okay, so for this next one, we need Jingle Bells, and we need the Intimidation Artifact, which is right here. So the Intimidation Artifact makes it so any mobs that are level 25 or lower won't attack you. But the Jingle Bells basically rage all the mobs around you, and they'll start running to you. So did this include the mobs that are not supposed to attack me? I, I don't know. So I have the Jingle Bells. I have the Artifact, because they're obviously not attacking me. Uh -huh. Uh, okay. Wait, I'm a little confused at, like, what happened. Alright. If I click on you, it just kind of runs at me awkwardly. Okay, if I go here, okay, now they're, like, quickly going at me. I mean, it wasn't, like, quickly, but it was a little bit faster than before. So let's say I take this back with me, and then I... They're still after me. They're still going for me, and they're still attacking me, yet they're not supposed to. Basically, if you have the Intimidation Artifact on you... They just kind of run at you, but they don't really do anything. If I put this away, and they go after me, and I right-click this, if I go to my ender chest and take it back, they still attack me, because they were previously, like, enraged and stuff. Okay, the dark auction is in, like, three minutes, so let's go test some stuff with it. Okay, me and the dark auction. There we go, we've been signed up. Hmm, we have a lot of people in here, alright. Lots of variety. This guy in emerald armor? I haven't seen a person in emerald armor in a while. Alright, what happens if I get the top bid, but then I have my inventory full? So let's go, like, fill it with arrows or something. Okay, I'll just try and win this. I, I don't really know how much to bid. How much is this? I don't know. Whatever. Ah. Why is he bidding so high? I need this book. Alright, my inventory is full. I'm pretty sure this is a massive overpay. You don't have enough space in your inventory. Click here to claim once you have enough space. What happens if I... Oh. Click to claim? Okay, we're gonna see what happens because it gives me the option to claim it. But it just says I don't have space. So I'm gonna see if it goes to Jerry. I'm gonna hope it does because otherwise that's like a waste of 4 mil. Alright, we're leaving the dark auction. You have unclaimed dark auction awards. Click here to claim them. Oh, I can still access this thing. Okay, wait, that's weird. If I go here, it still lets me claim it. Okay, it just lets me claim it anywhere. That's actually pretty cool. Well, I'm going to claim my Prot 6 book. I'm going to hope I didn't overpay for this. Okay, that's obviously a new system because I'm pretty sure the last time I tried this, it was totally different and it went to your stash. So, pretty interesting. So, for this next one, we're using a saving grace. You know, saving grace teleports you back to your private island when you're about to die. What if you die on your island? Will it not work? Will it just send you to your island? I don't know. So, we're going to test it out by doing some fall damage. Oh, alright. A little bit more damage needed. Oh, well, it just made me not die. What, what's with the saving grace, like, not doing what I expected? I'm like, oh, it'll, like, reload the server or something. But no, it just, it just made me not die. Okay, so right here we have an overflux, and if you shift-click it onto a chest, it will actually place the head, which is, you know, it's pretty cool. Now, if I break this back, it's gonna give me the head. Now, I wanna see if I can place this without being wolf level 7, so I need my alt account. Okay, I'm on my alt account, I have the overflux, and as you can see, I am not wolf level 7, so... Will it work? <gasps> it does! Well, now if you want to display an overflux and you don't have wolf 7, you can. Pretty cool. So, right here, I have a reaper scythe, a clean reaper scythe, no enchants. I want to see if this works in the Colosseum. Okay, we're just gonna spawn some zombies. There we go. Alright, we have these three zombies here, we're just gonna bring it to the Colosseum and... See if they, like, attack players or anything, or what happens. So now we have some people. We have our nice zombies, nice and friendly. So if I, if I hit you, they don't go for you. Okay, wait, we gotta, we gotta find someone who's, like, bad. Yes, you have no armor. Oh, it doesn't count as an enemy, no. Wait, where are my zombies? My zombies are dead. No. Alright, well, we have the zombies here now. We're gonna see what happens, if they can actually kill it. Are they able to kill the zombies? They actually can't. Uh... Okay, they're trying to slap the zombies and it's doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, the zombies don't really do anything. They just kind of follow you around and look awkward. I, I guess that's what happens. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the summoning eye, trade them the sleeping eye that I'll get from the summoning eye and see if they can pick it up. Alright, I'm going to place this. I'm going to trade them the sleeping eye. Uh, see if you can pick it up. They, they're not picking it up. Well, apparently you can't pick it up. Uh... That's the thing. Alright, they're gonna try to back. Let's see if it works. And there we go. We got the summoning eye back. 
Okay, this next one is for the Mosquito Bow. It's another Slayer-related one. So the Mosquito Bow has an ability where if you're shifting and you fully charge a shot, it'll deal 19% more damage, but it requires 11% of your max mana. But what if you have, like, no mana? What if you literally have zero mana as you cap? Kind of like the Jingle Bell spam back in the day. All right, we're using a Mosquito Bow. Look at this. Let's see what happens. So if I, if I take this bow and I fully shoot... 20,000 damage. All right, 20,700 damage. If I shift... 24,000 damage. Oh, wait, what? 24,000 damage, but it doesn't use any mana. Like, it would normally say, like, oh, you don't have the mana to use this ability, but it just, it just uses it. All right, this next one's a bit of a fun one. We're gonna see if a minion can place outside the world border. So, we're gonna use a cobble minion. We're gonna place it there, and then we're just gonna place some string around it. So it's kind of stuck in that area. It's obviously going to complain about the location and all that garbage, but like... Oh! It placed outside. I... What? Why is this a thing? You can build like a full-on wall outside your island if you get the placement of minions. It's perfect. Now, can you break these blocks, though? That's interesting. Yes, you can. So you can still harvest those blocks, so that's good. And obviously, you can't place at this location. Yeah, let's just destroy this. Okay, so for this next one, the legendary dragon pet basically buffs the AOTD in the strength and damage of it. So they have the pet eye right now. You can see if they trade me it, the damage is better than a Midas and the strength is. So I want to actually see if this damage carries over if you use a dummy. I'm going to place this dummy. I'm going to go here. So right now, if I hit this thing, it does 47,000 damage normally. Now with the updated variant, it'll do... Still 47,000 damage. Uh, wait, so let me leave and rejoin. 47k, 46k. So it went down like a thousand damage. But I feel like that's either just some other factor going into play randomly and not the actual damage of the sword being different. I think when it says 290, but you don't have the pet, it's just like a visual bug and it doesn't actually change it. All right, we have a blaze pet here. This is a Z Bananas blaze pet. Now, the thing about the legendary one is that it doubles the effects of hot potato books. It also like upgrades blaze armor and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get a Savannah bow. So the Savannah bow doubles the damage with the bow. I don't know why they don't just make it 100 damage, but whatever. All right, Savannah bow. There we go. We're gonna see if the hot potato books are quadrupled on this thing. I don't think it will, but we're gonna still try it. Okay, we have the hot potato books. This is just gonna be a massive waste. Now, right now, I don't have the pet selected. Okay, I'm gonna deselect the pet. I'm gonna just put all the pop potato books on here. It says it's two strength and two damage. I don't know why it doesn't just, like, double it. All right, 70 damage. And now, 90 damage. Wow, okay. Wait, so I did, like, it did, like, 13,000 before, right? Now it does 20,000. Look at that. 20,000 damage. Amazing. This was a waste. I thought it would quadruple it. Because, like, the damage on the bow is doubled, so you'd think, like, the hot potato books and everything would be doubled, and then it'd be, on top of the blaze pet, it'd be quadrupled, but apparently it's just, it's just not. Alright, I haven't done one of these videos in a while, so hopefully I did enough things for this video. I plan on doing more of them in the future, so uh, if you have any ideas for things to test, put them in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like and sub. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty bad at outros, so I'm just gonna end it here.